if the gods are watching me. You know what I really miss about Baldur's Gate? The food. Freshest fish I've ever had. I don't care for fish. Red meat. Now, that's a different matter. Rare as can be. Dripping. Well, unless we find a cure. People up ahead. Something's wrong. You're a true soul. You can't die. Please, stay with us. I, I don't think he's conscious. C can you hear us, Ed? You, not a step closer. A strange symbol glows marked on their flesh, and something within you stirs in response. Hurt badly. An oil bear got him deep. If there's anything you can do... I'm watching you. The injured man locks eyes with you. A familiar squirming churns in your head. Useless. Your minds intertwine. You see his siblings, Andrik and Brenner. New recruits. Yours to shepherd. Protect them. He is a true soul. Mind him. He will. He. He. Edwin! Ed! Please! He's with the Absolute now. You're. You're a true soul. Edwin, our brother. He was chosen, like you. Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. What? Are you... Are you testing us? The Absolute is our goddess. She's going to rip down the old world order, start a new one. Then we'll be the ones with the power. Well, you will firstly, Trussel. You don't need me to explain that. A true soul like you, has been chosen by the Absolute. You speak with her voice, and when the time comes, the true souls, you, will rule. That fellow was infected like us. Is this the mark of a true soul? We know that all too well, sir, but the Absolute sent us here. We're looking for fugitives, survivors from that ship that crashed farther west of here. We don't know what they look like, but anyone who survived that crash is bound to be injured. That's enough to get us started. The Absolute wants them found. At any cost. What? And... and just... leave Ed? I suppose... I suppose he'd want us to go on. Find a way to honor his sacrifice. May the Absolute guide us. They spoke of the Absolute. Same as that goblin, Saza. Curious. Looks like the Absolute's drawing all sorts to become followers. Impressive, in a way. Strange power resonates within the corpse. It calls to you. Most corpses feel like toys before you, to be played with and discarded when you tire. This body seems different. A friend calls out from the corpse, desperate to be freed. Why let its host's memories go to waste? The tadpole has absorbed it all. Its experience could nourish you. 
strengthen you. As much love as I hold for Baldur's Gate, these frontiers delight me as much as any bustling street. Uh, you can't be serious. This is a howling wasteland. I haven't even had a bath since the abduction. I must reek of a little slime. Owlbear tracks. Its nest must be nearby. Prayers are answered. You should leave it, or even destroy it if possible. This rubbish is an offering to Saluna. At best, it's worthless. At worst, who knows, could be cursed. Do not trifle with that moon witch or her trinkets. Only trouble will follow. you can sell them for a couple of coins. this something weak something tender won't even have to chew you before i feed you to my son soft meat it's a splinter i've gutted bigger threats than you with worse You're small, weak. Killing you would be a waste of time. You can go, but you make one wrong step and I'll rip you to shreds. Training those children. You're so gentle. That's not how I was taught. 
cruel world strengthen neither heads nor hearts, Shadow. I wouldn't quite say that. They learned a lesson, after all. Came to resent your tutor, I bet. I taught them to fight, not to hate. Keep moving, stranger. Quietly. I told you to go! Mm. There's death in your scent but not in your words. Still, you should go. My friend is injured. He needs rest. He's not my clan. He's my friend. Of course he will. And then we'll return home. He calls me Scratch. You can do the same. We were attacked, were cackling furry things on two legs. And their smell, it was strange, rotten, evil. You know the creatures he describes. Knolls. No, I won't leave him. If it comes to that, I may. Thank you. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Runner, fleet foot, courier company. Let us delivery to Baldur's Gate. Do you have someone waiting for you in Baldur's Gate, Astarian? A sweetheart, perhaps? Not one in particular. The city is a veritable feast of sweethearts. You must be eager to get back then. Slimmer pickings out in this wilderness. Strange. It looks healthy, but it's stone dead. The pig's dead, my friend. Staring at it won't bring it back. Come on. We'll never fix these brain worms if we stop and gawk at every piece of carrion you find. The boar seems to be fresh, only a few hours dead. Examining the corpse, you see two small puncture wounds in its neck. And is it dead enough for you?
I... It's been drained of blood with wounds in its neck. It's been killed by a vampire. I didn't want to say anything because I didn't want to worry you. They are ferocious creatures. But don't worry. I'll keep watch tonight. We won't have to worry about nocturnal visitors. Now please, let's go. They're goblins. They're travelers. Were they heading to the Druid's Grove? Uncle's name, my father said, but I just figured he couldn't spell. Something's waiting up ahead. Get over there! Surround them like! You spoiled us! Good! It's like they say. No fun in skewing a pig what doesn't know he's cooked! We got you surrounded. Here's how this goes. You take one step further... And we'll fill your front with arrows! Or you turn around, and your backside gets the same treatment! As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. it's best to save our strength for a real threat. Go on, then. Just keep your nose clean. Someone there.
Not to my taste, certainly. avoid that trap. for Sousa bark. There's only one place I'm finding a Sousa tree. <clears throat> the Underdark. Simple. pleasant traveling with company if you ignore all the less pleasant aspects the pride of the gate to fly. Stop this thing! <laughs> Flap those wings some more and I'll feed you a worm. And you. Hope you got a stomach for heights. What's it bloody look like? We're teaching this here pipsqueak to fly. Cause it makes me laugh. <laughs> You want this little cave lurking what's it? Find your own. He's ours! As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Uh, I 
reckon we could do better than this run, eh? We're leaving. What about the gnome? Ain't we supposed to bring him to... I said we're leaving. There's plenty of sport and rich pickings out there for us. Move it. Fresh meats. Scared meats. Yes. Shadowheart's attention is fixed on a damaged old statue. We... we should keep moving. Nothing. The trick of the light. I saw something that reminded me of... well... It's private. But then I felt something rise within me, like my blood was on fire. Then it passed. Let's just move along. Time's a rare currency for both of us. Let's see what this does. Bagger Kamara, those postulant thugs. Well, get on with it, whatever you are. You saved me, now you'll extort me. That's how this works, yes? Uh, my own fault, really. I should have dropped my pack and outrun those bastards. Alas. Take my pack, if you can find it. The only reason those goblins caught me was its weight. I'll travel lightly from now on. Ignorance is alive and well, it seems. Deep gnomes aren't restricted to the Underdark, you know. I've lived in Baldur's Gate for years. I'm in search of a friend. I fear he's in trouble. See this? I gave it to him years ago before I left home. I found it around the neck of a thug in the lower city. It was speckled with blood. My friend, nowhere to be found. But I still have hope. I have reason to believe he's in the Underdark. Hopefully I'll pick up his trail from there. I always help my friends. On that note, <clears throat> I bid thee farewell. If we should meet again, well, we will have met again. Hmm. hurts anymore. Can't afford to stay idle. I have such a headache. Swift as my feet can carry me. Mm. 
watch your back. Move it. You notice a peculiar dagger protruding from the tough, leathery meat. This method pays off. The dagger glides smoothly out of the mystery meat. Careful, I might. Still in control. Just. Don't mind if I do. Best be on my way. These boots have seen everything. <clears throat> More for me. A key? I wonder what it opens. Stink of Avernus, Advocatus Diaboli. <sighs> well, I'll be God's damned. The Blade of Frontiers. Thought I'd shaken you for good. That'll teach me to underestimate you. Bloody right. An honor to be chased by the Blade of Frontiers, but I... <sighs> Great heat roars through you, her heat, fiery as the hells. Then you're lost in visions of demonic armies as you tear through a landscape of fire and blood, the blood war. You saw it from above as the Nautiloid passed through Avernus. This woman was on the front line. What was that? Evidence, proof that you're a devil, a gladiator in the archdevil Zariel's army. I can explain. But it's a whole situation. 
if you just hear me out... Another vision. Karlak's blade raised, slicing through devils, Zariel's servants, as her eyes dart around, seeking escape. Her rage and desperation seep into you. She is a victim of the Blood War, not an agent of it. She's trying to trick us. Don't believe her lies. You saw the truth. I never wanted to serve Zariel. I was enlisted in her army against my will. Forced to fight, and fight I did. When I saw an opportunity to get away, I took it. Finally home. Or near it, anyway. You served her. That's enough to damn you. Will catches his breath and his lips straighten. Sheer dread twists his face. You don't know what you're saying. You're asking me to trust a devil! Listen to sense now. I don't want this to end badly for either of us. You know monsters, right? Better than anyone. Look into my eyes. Can't you see I'm not what you think? Shit. You really are no devil, are you? I've... I've been deceived. Oh, thank the gods. I thought I was gonna have to take your head. <laughs> you would have died in the attempt. But there have been enough threats today. Truce then, eh? Aye. Truce. I'm Karlak. But you already knew that. And you are... Well met, soldier. Nice to meet a friendly around here. It's been tough going so far. I may not be a devil, but I can put the Blade's reputation to work. How would you feel about helping me kill some evil bastards? Little background, if your moral compass needs something to point at. You already know I fought in the Blood War. I was good. Really good. It turns out I've got a knack for killing demons. That made me a valuable asset. Zariel? The Archdevil herself made me as her personal attack dog. I played along until I could get the fuck out of there. But devils don't like to lose their assets. <laughs> Zariel liked it so little. She sent a bunch of goons, so-called paladins of tear, to take me back. Problem is, I'm not going. Don't worry, I'll lead the charge. But I could use your help. There's a lot of them and only one of me. After that, we can team up. Take Faerun by the short hairs. Sound good? I like her. She looks like she could throw me over her shoulder and carry me to safety. Should the need arise. <laughs> Dirty work's the only kind I like. Gets even messier the more bodies you throw at it. Think of the potential. Fuck yes! They cornered me outside the toll house just up the hill. Doubt they've gone far after the scorching I gave them. No room in your party. What should I do? Mm. See you soon, then. <laughs> now we're talking. Some laughing curse, have you? <laughs> I really made it out of Avernus. It's incredible. All right, just keep it down. We're conspicuous enough without your hyena court. Man, those paladins I need to stomp are that away. Let me shy. Ah, another. Thy name has been recorded. I shall be here in thy camp for whenever. As the
Never a dull moment. Hmm? Trust me, I'll tell you all about it after we take care of the goons on my tail. <sighs> Depends on the type. Ice devils hate an inferno, but that's an easy one. Orthons love projectiles. What they don't love is getting their bombs lobbed right back in their faces. Demons, on the other hand, every demon is absolutely singular. You can't ever think you've got them typed out. Sharp instincts, sharp weapons, and a knack for improvisation. That's the only way to survive them. <laughs> anyway, what were we talking about? Hmm. I don't think so. At least, I still remember everything, in more detail than I wish. But, as for what's going on in your mind, no, maybe in mine, I'm certain there are answers out there. We'll find them together. Well, look. You've said it, right out loud. That takes guts. The guts you'll need to change. Or at least make sure you're channeled in the right direction. I've got enough enemies who could do with a good bloodletting, you know. <laughs> Funny you should ask. I was just thinking about what would have become of us without that nautiloid. I mean, I know where I'd be. Trapped in Avernus still, with the Blade of Frontiers on my tail. But what about you? Lucky you. Sometimes I think I'd be better off indulging in a bit of light oblivion. Well, we may as well make some good memories mixed in with the body horror, huh? Karlak and Will seem to have put their differences aside. I thought it was going to come to blows for a moment. I think I know what you mean. There's an undeniable rapport, and yet we haven't made time for each other. Time alone. Easily remedied, if you like. I know a place. Not just yet. Let's choose our moment. Some quiet night, when the others are asleep and there's no distractions. I'll come for you. I thought we were going to see some real sparks fly between Will and Karlak. <laughs> it's almost a pity things ended so amicably. Seeing those two duke it out would be fun. Karlak's got the brawn of a warrior and the wiles of a survivor. Best of all, she speaks her mind plainly and fully. Show her due respect. My condition's only getting worse. You've been witness to a pantomime, I'm sorry to say. And I've played my part all too poorly. I can say only this. Karlak's not the only one who's had a villain's knife held to their throats. One night soon, when we make camp, the veil will be lifted, and I'll pay my penance. You're not in any danger, I promise. I can't say the same about me. A devil and devil hunter standing shoulder to shoulder against a common enemy. 
Rather poetic, I think. That is most gratifying to hear. May I? Thank you. Magic, it's like a lullaby that sings to sleep the demon inside. A metaphorical demon, I haste to point out, but no less dangerous. And no less bound to wake up again to continue its ravages. Such is the nature of all monsters. Oh, it's not so bad once you get used to it. And, on the plus side, my tower in Waterdeep has never been so free of clutter. Hmm. Sincerely, though. I understand I ask a lot from you with few answers in return. But in time, all will be told. My lord, I bow to your boundless kindness. Gale slurped that thing up like a horse with a carrot. I hope he got what he needed from it. Gale is positively voracious. Well, let him suck up all the magic he needs, as long as he doesn't snack on a Githyanki silver sword. I've known people who are hungry for power, but Gale takes it a bit too literally for my liking. I wonder how he does it. Why he does it. I'm sure all will be revealed in time, but I don't like it. A waste of perfectly good treasure. So, Gale just consumes magical items like I do wine. We truly are a group apart. Nevertheless, as quirks go, that's a new one for me. I like Gale, but I'm keeping all my good gear well out of sight. Everything fancy he touches meets a grisly end. What's the story? Let's march! All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Hey, we're still going after those paladins, right? Can't leave Zariel's bruisers roaming the coast. Good news. Can't wait to see them finished.
worse than no Please, no more. Leave us in peace, and we shall leave you in kind. Cut the crap, Anders. I know what you are. Don't let her hurt us. Please, we just want to go home. The Archduchess will be delighted when we return with Karlak's head on a pike. Ha! Huh. I never was good at playing the coward. There is no beast here or in the hells I fear. Not with her ladyship's protection. Least of all, this dog. You'd do well to reconsider your alliance with this animal. She destroys all she touches. Useful in the blood war, frighteningly dangerous anywhere else. Rage all you want, Karlak. Burn with the might of the hells. Zariel will find you. She will bring you home in pieces. And your little friends will have to watch. Unless we feed you their eyeballs first. Avernus was never my home. It was my prison. I'm free now, and I'm never going back! It's bright on me. That's what they keep me.
sounds like fun. I won't go back. I'm never going back. And if any of Mummy's little friends want to pick up where the others left off, they'll find nothing but a pile of ash. That's right, she won't. She can't. She couldn't even lay a finger! <laughs> I've been this way before. Whatever killed those gnomes might be nearby. Careful. I ought to do it. Whew. Had to let off a little steam after facing off with those ignots. Granted, the fire's lasting a little longer than it should. How do I look? Careful, soldier. If I burn any hotter, I might explode. Hear that? Infernal engine for a heart. Let's me burn as hot as the hells. Seems to be running in overdrive since I left Avernus. Won't be seeing my mechanic anytime soon, so I'll just make the most of the extra heat. Just don't get too close till I've found a way to calm it down. High pain tolerance and a dynamic duo of truly shitty bosses. But it's a bit early in the game to be getting into tragic backstories. Let's save the Scar show for later, after we've worked up an appetite for tragedy. Meanwhile, I'll need to find someone who can tune up my engine sooner rather than later. Believe me when I say this thing is hot. The first time I faced down those paladins, 
They let slip there was an infernal mechanic in the area. A tiefling. He might be able to stabilize things, if I can find him. A weaponsmith, huh? Not sure if he's the guy, but I'd love to find out. A tune-up would do this rusty heart a world of good. Smells right. Something here. There are traps about. Best avoid that trap. Honk, honk. I'm ready. Something's happening, but not enough something. This way. Someone's left the trap. Something tore right through these people. They didn't stand a chance. The creature's eyes roll back in its head, equal parts bliss and agony. Her awful smell irresistible. And while her blood feast has filled her, the hyena is not yet sated. Come, see, my flesh becomes new flesh. You hear what comes next before you see it. The sharp snapping of bones and a yelp of pain as her body starts to twist and undulate. You watch with cold realization. This isn't the end of one life, but the start of another. Her darling pups will not be of her own species. Knolls bring forth their iniquitous litter from many corpsed wombs, including hyenas.
Sanders a swift strike against her skull. She yelps, then goes still. Whatever horrific creature was growing inside the hyena dies along with her. should find the rest. Stop the infestation before it spreads. They look so nice in the upper city parts. Tastes like chicken. No chicken. Tastes like fish. Gentlemen, contain yourselves. This quarrel sells our feast. Besides, tastes like pork. And what surprise is this? Brothers, look here. I have eyed yet another prize. Fortune favors our bellies. Stranger, be you friend or food. The mark is her measure. Show us the brand of the absolute. Am I not astonishing? A robust diet makes for a shrewd mind, you see. I am a gourmand. And you, a delicacy. Unless you bear the mark, of course.
emotion and a boon to my aching belly. We have a deal, my tasty kibble. Take my bone horn. One blow and the ground will quake with my family name. Use it when the need arises and never a moment before. Ogre kill everyone around, then Ogre eats them. Well spoken, indeed. Ogre kill everyone around. We will keep close. When you are ready, sound the horn. Something over there. On my way. Blame the gobs. Place looks like it's been abandoned a good while. But hey, maybe we can scare you up know, a few dusty bottles of wine somewhere. Please, we just want my ring. Lads, for the love of all that is holy, I've never clapped eyes on your poor sister. Drop the act, hag. You was the last to see me, Rena. Just let her go. Please. Thank goodness you're here, sweetie. I. I don't know what's come over these boys. Stop this. We... We won't ask again. Sweetie, be careful! He's with the hag. Don't bloody stand there gaping. Get him! this to happen. She's their little sister, and she's staying with me. This is all my fault, but I made a promise. Marina begged me not to breathe the word if they came looking for her, and my word is my bond. That poor thing would be distraught. We can't let her know it would break her poor heart. I'd best get going, but please stop by my house. I'd like to thank you proper. Helpless old ladies. Was that normal? Chill runs up your spine. You feel like you're being watched.
diminutive creature sporting a red hat glares at you. You recognize the red cap, a fey creature known for its bloodlust. <laughs> that noise. Is the creature pretending to be a sheep? <laughs> Children, my dear. Pigs, children, and people with a little bit of grit. One day I'll catch a break. What's inside? something to ask ah stranger forgive the aroma you catch a waft of something foul metallic and sickly sweet powdered iron vine an old hunter's trick most monsters will think twice before making a meal of me you're a monster hunter I'm surprised I thought all girl were vagrant cutthroats A mystical and dangerous people. We travel the land, never settling in one place. We steal your chickens, curse your crops, seduce your daughters. Your friend here has heard it all, I'm sure. I wish I had half the power settled folk think my people possess. Alas, I am a simple wanderer. A simple wanderer and monster hunter. But I'm no witch doctor or cutthroat. Something terrifying, no doubt. Dragon? Cyclops? Kobold? Nothing so dramatic. I'm hunting for a vampire spawn. I fear he's gone to ground. I hope the hag of these lands can help me flush him out. If I can afford her blood price. A vampire spawn? Why? Just so. Vampires are godless parasites. We do not need a reason to destroy them. But in this case, it is a sacred mission from the head of my tribe. She sent me here to capture the beast and return it to her. Capture? And bring it where? Baldur's Gate. My people wait for me there. Under all the smiles, you can feel Astarian's tension. He's coiled like a spring, hand inching towards his weapon. Is your friend ill? I have some tea that might help. No, no. I'm quite well. We should go, but you have fun tracking your monster. Thank you. Treating with a hag. I need all the luck I can get. May your road be kind. Well, hello. What can I do for you? We're not wandering these wilds looking for stimulating conversations. Of course, my knife was ready. The Gur are duplicitous. I've had my share of run-ins. So caution is only natural. Who knows? Drow? Mind flayers? Death? Hopefully not ours. But maybe answers if we can convince the right people to talk. 